Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called The Final Round. This was created by Konami in 1988. This game was suggested by YouTube user DJ Candyman Mike. And uh, it is also known as Hard Puncher in Japan. But the games really play exactly the same, other than uh, the boxers have different names. But you face off against eight different opponents. You have uh, ways to bump up your stats by uh, training, and you train after every two matches. And you can bump up your stamina, your speed, and your power. It's kind of an interesting game. The graphics aren't uh, entirely polished. It's it's 1988, I guess. Uh, what do you want? <laughs> But again, this is called Hard Puncher in Japan. Uh, I probably came across this back in the day. Didn't really, uh, didn't really play it then. But yeah, you see, this is where you can, uh, at the very beginning, change your uh, or uh, distribute points for your uh, speed and power and stamina. And. Uh, I would uh, I would suggest just basically having them around the early 30s, all of them, just distributed evenly. But um, again, after every two matches, you will get a bump up your stats even more by uh, training. Um, the buttons are uh, block, and uh, you press it once. Uh, I think uh, your default was like blocking high, you press it again, and then uh, you block low, press it again, you go back to blocking high. So you can just keep pressing it and uh, switch back and forth. Then there is a uh, jab, and then there is a, uh, a reaching punch. There is uh, the speed training. You bump up your speed and you have to punch these dummies that pop up all over the place. They're very, very fast. The training could be hard. Um, this is this can be kind of hard. Um, the uh, power training is really hard. Um, the uh, um, stamina training is the easiest. We'll look at all of these. I mean, I'll I'll take you through all of these later. But um, yeah, there's a jab. And there is a reaching punch button. And uh, when you get close to the opponent and you press jab, you can you can do some more damaging blows that can knock the opponent backwards. Red Falco. <laughs> Konami uh, made uh, Contra. And the terrorist alien organization is known as Red Falcon, I believe. So that's probably where they got that name there. But again, uh, Hard Puncher, the Japanese version of this, has different named opponents. Go all the way to... The final round. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Again, you start out by uh, distributing your points. And you move the joystick up and down to allocate it uh, to, uh, you know, how, however way you want it. You can have a whole bunch of speed, a whole bunch of power, a whole bunch of stamina. But I would keep them all in the 30s for now. I mean, this is the only chance that you can distribute them like that, but you can get more points by doing the training levels. Here is the first opponent. And, uh, I, I'm not really sure how to give you, uh, hints other than, uh, maybe, uh, switch up your blocking technique, then wail on a, a combination of, uh, reach punches and jabs to throw the opponent off guard and when you get their power down to zero you knock them down but almost always they will get up 
three times. Uh, they will get up two times. The third time, of course, is a, a TKO as long as you get it in the time allowed. But they always seem to be getting up in time. I think only once have I ever been able to knock a guy out and he didn't get back up. But you only get a little bit of energy back when you get knocked down and get back up. Oh, he knocked me down. And you wail on the buttons to uh, get your energy back up and get off the canvas. But yeah, when you when you do a jab close up to the enemy, to the opponent, uh, you'll do a particularly hard strike. It'd be an up uppercut or uh, perhaps a hard cross. There's Red Falco. Boy, does he need a tan. <laughs> He's like Nicole Kidman White. <laughs> but yeah, do a, a combination of jabs and straight punches. And if you can get close, then you'll be able to, to do a, a damaging hit. See, uh, when you hit him hard with it, or they hit you with it, then you'll get knocked back. And it'll take a good chunk of the uh, energy off, or the power percentage off. The further along you get in the game, the, f the better stats the opponent is going to have. Ooh, I got down to 1%, but I knocked him down again. Yeah, they always seem to get up. You know, if the uh, oops, if the round ends, then uh, you automatically just go to the next round. There's no like a uh, cutscene where you're sitting in your corner getting tended to, but by the uh, trainer or whatever, and uh, depending on how many punches you landed, you might be able to win the. Uh, a unanimous decision uh, but there is the different trainings you can do there's speed training power training and stamina training and let's look at the speed training yeah and it's the little green dummies that pop up and you have to hit them right as soon as they appear and uh, you don't have to press the punch button you just push towards the uh, target and you'll just start punching at it. And this is the only one, the only uh, training that you can do that. The other one, one, of, the other one where you punch, um, you have to press the button. But we'll look at that in a moment. Thirty-nine out of fifty. That's real. Actually, not too bad. So, uh, speed, I get 15% added. And later opponents will be super fast. They just fly around the ring. Now let's look at power training. And these balls will fly at you, and you have to hit them. You can do a, a straight punch or a low punch. Or, you know, a jab. A little jab. But uh, you have to kind of remember where they come from when they pop out of these machines whether they're high or low and they're gonna be coming the same way uh, if you play through it again so you just kinda have to remember which ones are gonna be high which ones are gonna be low and which uh, machine they're gonna pop out of it takes you a second to turn around so you have to do it real quick yeah I'm n no good at this uh, uh, training session but I got 11% uh, added on to power I'm just showing you each training mission first and then uh, we'll continue with the game and this one is the easiest this is whoops stamina training you just have to jump over that rotating bar as much as you can 
Note that, oops, note that the time here and in the, uh, during the rounds, um, it, the time moves much quicker than, uh, than a, like a regular clock. And then I get 10 more points added on to my stamina. And again, after uh, after uh, two rounds, you will be able to do the training. Or you can just choose don't need training. But I would not uh, recommend that. Now we'll just skip ahead. I decided to do the uh, do that uh, th that uh, power training, and now we go to the next round, round five. This guy also needs a tan, <laughs> but he's he's very very fast. He just kind of flies around the ring, and I'm still very slow. Ouch. <laughs> A very good reach but again if you can get in close and press jab you can land some very devastating uh, blows that <clears throat> knock the opponent backwards yeah got me now if you're given the opportunity to get up it's it's actually pretty easy to get back up Wail on the buttons, and you should be able to get up easily. I knocked him down two times. And again, you don't get that much <laughs> power back when you get up off the uh, canvas. See, I'm only at 19%. Oh, there, I beat him. Knockout Nick and Red Falco and uh, I forget what that last guy was named. Here's Iron Drago. Oh boy, an obvious rip off of Ivan Drago from uh, uh, Rocky IV. <laughs> I like that guy yelling, "Waste him!" Some more uh, really strong close up jabs or uh, uppercuts or whatever it is that I'm landing that stuns him but again yeah the the opponent will always or almost always get right back off the canvas when you knock him down they'll never they'll almost never stay down for the count This game of boxing is okay. It's kind of nice to be able to move all over the ring. Punch Out is still one of the all-time best remembered uh, arcade games of boxing. Him. And down goes Drago. Now we'll do the stamina again. Because again, uh, crap. <laughs> every, uh, every two, uh, after every two matches, then uh, you gotta do a training. Whoop. Crap. And this is this is the easiest one as far as I can say. And this was stamina. Well that's not too bad actually, thirty-six. So fourteen percent added to stamina. <clears throat> The 
this guy is Steel Fist Fritz. And again, all the other all the boxers have different names in uh, the Japanese version called Hard Puncher. This guy is very fast and yeah, as the as the match wears on, he can get just super speedy and just fly all over the ring. And then just come at you with quick damaging punches. Yeah, I really don't have any great strategies for you, sorry. Just switch up your guard. Um, do a do a combination of uh, reaching punches and jabs. And maybe if you can get close you can you can uh, do some more jabs that'll turn into like uppercuts and really damaging blows that'll make them stagger back because at this point your punches are not gonna do much damage <laughs> the opponent will have way too much uh, stamina ah crap <laughs> they taunt you and the girls kiss him instead of you. Yeah, you can continue and you will lose all your prize money if you do. I'll I'll show you the rest of the boxers in a little bit. That is uh, the final round by Konami in 1988. And this was suggested by YouTube user DJ Candyman Mike. Now let's look at uh, some of the other boxers. The next guy was uh, the Bronx Bruiser, and uh, he's super quick, and he can just deal hard, uh, damaging punches one after another. <laughs> Bastard. I put on uh, infinite energy at this point, but I just wanted to show you a little bit of each round. And then the next guy is Harlem Hitman. And he laughs at you as he beats on you. I well, hope you have a good weekend. <clears throat> Mine is just starting. I'm hoping for not much rain tomorrow so I can mow my lawn. And It's been forever since I mowed my lawn. It's a jungle out there. Gotta put some fence boards on my uh, fixed fence. And this is the last, the last guy, the champion, and once you beat him, the game ends. Yeah, the, the Japanese version, Hard Puncher, has uh, a number of cool little codes you can put in, and uh, special, uh, special things that you can do to, to unlock some surprises in it and here's me beating uh, the last uh, boxer it's Jeb and Jim as the protagonist and at the end uh, he's a statue I mean you, you, know, you see a statue of him And then you see uh, silhouettes of boxers in the ring moving about, punching each other. And here are the credits. That is the final round by Konami 1988, requested by YouTube user DJ Candyman Mike. It's not 
a bad boxing game. Um, yeah, Punch Out was was definitely my favorite boxing game. I didn't like boxing games a whole lot. I did like uh, Mike Tyson's Punch Out for the NES quite a bit, <laughs> and uh, I still get nervous when I face Mike Tyson and his uh, incredibly devastating uppercuts. There's a string of uppercuts for the first half of the uh, first round. <laughs> and yeah, I probably came across this at one point or another in arcades, but I didn't really, I didn't play it. But yeah, um, mix up your your jabs and your uh, reach punches. And uh, move your guard around. Try to uh, confuse the opponent. Yeah, Black Stallion was the last guy. But that is the final round by Konami in 1988. And it was requested by YouTube user DJ Candyman Mike. Well, this is Crazy Climber 80 saying thanks for watching the final round by Konami in 1988. Also known as Hard Puncher in Japan. I'll catch you later with another video. Send me your requests, folks. Bye-bye.